Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. So now that we've completed this dungeon, in all the way down here, the next place we need to go to is the woods. But I'm going to quickly just look around, possibly, just to show that over this way, if we go all the way this way, so I believe we can actually pick up a few of these rocks around here. I'm not sure how important it is to do that. Uh, but if we pick this up, nothing. Over here, though, doesn't actually connect up to the desert area, which doesn't look look like a desert from over here. Uh, but anyway, now, if I get out the magic mirror and use it up here in between these flowers, because that's what the flowers are there to tell you to do, we actually end up on this ledge up here, back in the light world, and there's a tablet thing here to look at. Hold up the Master Sword and you will get the magic of Bombos. And there we go. This is the Bombos Medallion. Its magic makes the ground explode with power. Watch your magic meter. Very important to know. Uh, and now, let me just see where I can go if I teleport from here. Although I probably should have stayed there and checked the boulders again because I feel like there's something there. Can I cancel out of this? I don't think I can. No, I can't. Okay, well that's fine. I feel like there's something there, but I might just be thinking about other things. Ah! Uh, but anyway, now that we can do that, there was also the tablet that looked like that up here. We can only do this with the Master Swords, so we can only do it after we go get that. And I want to check this one, though. Just because I can go to a lot of places and do a lot of things, but I have to be ready for them. Also, these enemies are here now. That we probably don't want to mess with. These Tektites. I'm pretty sure they're Tektites. I might be wrong about that. But they look like Tektites, so I'm going to assume they're Tektites. Please get in the portal. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I shouldn't be struggling that much to get into the portal. Uh, anyway, let's use the thing. But also... You didn't change your shape. You aren't just a normal guy, are you? Wow, your shape didn't change. You got the moon pearl, huh? Okay, well, let's go up here then and check this tablet since we can. Need the Book of Medora again. Ah! And let's get this. Hold up the Master Sword and you'll get the magic of ether. This is the Ether Medallion. Its magic controls the upper atmosphere and polar wind. Watch your magic meter. So there we go, we have those two now. They basically are strong attacks that will hit everything on screen, sometimes having different effect on different things. I can't remember which ones do what, so... Ah, uh, but that's basically how it is. Sometimes it will kill them, or sometimes it will turn them into much weaker enemies. I'm pretty sure. Ah, uh, now... I don't think I actually wanted to go here. That's okay. Let's go. I'm not actually sure. Let me go to number five because I want to go back to the dark world and check a few things. If I can. Also, if you're holding something when you go into the dark world, you don't have it when you go through, so... You can't take stuff between the worlds like that. Oh, run. It's all fine. Just need to keep running. Okay, let me look at my map quickly, just to make sure I can do things, possibly. I think I can go up this way. To where the witch's hut would be in the dark world. Although I feel like I also checked this already and not sure. That's fine. Maybe I got sidetracked. Uh, anyway, we can pick this rock up and go through here. And I believe we can actually hook shot across there if we wanted to. Uh, but I'm actually just going to stick on this path for the moment. We could also swim, of course, to get around between the both sides, possibly. Probably just actually uh, getting from one side to the other, you hook shot on one side to the other, you swim, probably. Anyway, this is a small shop here with some uh, red potion, a shield, if you manage to lose yours, which you probably... There's like a high chance of losing a shield. Uh, and also some bombs. Uh, but anyway, let's keep going up this way now further upstream. 
Also, I should probably heal, possibly. Ah, uh, I should be fine. Also, that's a, a living rock. That's fine. This way, Lake of Roman the Third, I guess. I I feel like the the three things lines should be after the name and not before it. But anyway, let's go up here. And if we grab anything, I believe. Just gonna quickly check the sign. Curses to anyone who throws something into my circle of stones. Well, we can throw, pick up something and then throw anything into the circle of stones over here. And... Was it you who disturbed my peaceful nap? I will give you this, uh, this to you if you go away. And we get the Quake Medallion. This, its magic causes the ground to shake and defeats nearby enemies. What's your magic meter? That's all the medallions collected. These are just extra spells that we can use to take out enemies, as we've already looked at with the other two. Uh, which could be helpful in certain scenarios. Let me just do this one. Bombos. Pretty sure that just burns everything up. <laughs> yep. All destroyed. Ah, uh, but luckily we also have the, um, half magic meter. So don't use up as much magic whenever we use a, a spell. Ah, uh, now... Ether. Stuns all these enemies. Okay, that's what that does. It possibly has a different effect on some enemies. But anyway, let's take you out. And then of course Quake explained already that it just takes out the enemies. So they're all pretty good. I, I could say that Ether isn't as good. But I mean, it's it's all relative anyway. They all look really cool as well. Oh, that one turned into a monster thing. Uh, and I'm assuming this doesn't do anything, right? Nope, it's just a weaker enemy. Okay, so Quake does interesting things, as well as Ether, And Bombos just destroys. Without any extra effect. You know, some health would be good. Well, I guess I'm not getting any health now. Not at this rate. Um, how about... We go to the light world. While we're here. And go into the witch's hut. Potion shop. Talk to you. We get a free sample. <laughs> Why would you ever need to buy a potion when you can get a free sample and just... Get healed up? I don't know, I probably, probably can't do it all the time, but still. It's pretty useful. Uh, anyway. Let's keep moving... ...in a different direction. There's also a few different places to find Dark World portals around... ...that we can find, so... Let me talk to you, please. Wow, I haven't seen a normal person in a few hundred years! Let me talk to you for a while. Surprisingly, the Triforce created this world to fulfill Ganon's wish. What is Ganon's wish, you ask? It is tr uh, it is to rule the entire cosmos. Don't you think it might be possible with the power of the Triforce behind you? Probably. So I'm just going to leave you there. Not going to try and fight back or anything. Um, Nothing here, apparently. Whereas in the light world, there's a few things there. Uh, can I go this way? No, I cannot. That's fine. I can, however. Oh, B, B, B. Uh, I need to get around this place, which would be the, the graveyard, but right now it's just a bunch of rocks. Now, if I dash into this, that's nothing, right? Yes. Except for Red Rupee, apparently. Uh, but can I, or can I not, just use my magic mirror here? Which allows us to actually skip a bit, because we can't pick up these rocks here. Uh, but now, I need to actually dash into this grave if I cannot get attacked by these poes, which are just ab around here now. But if we dash into this rock slash grave thing, we can actually get in here a little bit early. So let's go over here and pick this up. And we get the magic cape. You're invisible when you wear it. Watch your magic meter. So as it says, whenever we wear it, we're invisible. It also means we can do sp some special things. Because I think there are some objects that we can't interact with when we are invisible. Which is interesting to keep in mind. 
But I actually, I'm, I'm really happy we can get that early because we're not meant to get that for a, a little bit, a little while yet. We still have a, a few dungeons to do before, before we're supposed to do that. We can also go to the light world on this ledge here to go into this cave. I don't think I can use the hammer to break these, can I? No, I can. That's good. I like being able to break the objects in my way with a hammer. It's like using your sword to cut grass or something in a different game, I guess. Or this game, I guess, with cutting grass. But you can't cut the pots or skulls, so. Ah, uh, but anyway, there's a piece of heart in this cave, which means we got another heart container. Very nice. Let's go back into the dark world, since that's where we put our portal. Uh, and let's keep looking around some more. Getting close to the sanctuary over here, but we're in the dark world now, so things are different. Let's go in here and check it out what is what this is. Oh, hello. Hey, I'll tell you a profitable so story if you pay me 20 rupees. Sure, why not? Ha, huh, thank you. To tell you the truth, I found incredible beauty inside the pyramid. But someone sealed the door. You can't do anything with a, a standard bomb, they say. Interesting. I don't know if I can do that now. I might be able to do it now. I might need to check that, actually. Uh, but at the moment, I'm just going to keep moving in this direction. Although I think there's not a ton we can actually do over this way. Maybe. I guess there is. Let's head up this way now. We're getting close to the forest now, but we're not going to go there just yet. We'll also have a... Ah! A lot of enemies chasing me, for one thing. Please, stop attacking me. Piece of heart on that ledge. We should probably look at that. I'll give a piece of heart... Uh, I'll give a piece of heart to the person who wears the cape. Well, we have a cape, so let's go over this way then. Into this cave. Because this cave doesn't actually take us to Death Mountain, because Death Mountain doesn't lead back in the Dark World. Let's go upstairs. Now, I believe we do need the hookshot for this. So let's do that to get across there. And now this bouncer here can't walk through it because it's a bouncer. But if we use the magic cape, we can actually walk straight through it. Very helpful. And gives us a piece of heart. Just like that. Oh my goodness, enemies, don't hurt me now, please. I'm doing so well. Also, I believe one of these plants around here comes to life or... Something, maybe? I might be wrong. Uh, but anyway, this is the woodcutter's hut, and we can see here that this tree here is actually cut in the dark world, which is interesting. Especially because if we go back to the light world now, they've actually finished on this tree. We can see that they've cut it open, and the tree's starting to die. If we dash into it from the bottom, though, we can actually go into it now, because we took it out for some reason. It was just hollow. Uh, but anyway, now we can go up here, and this is a fairy fountain for us if we need to get some more fairies, which I kind of do. I actually have a spot open. So let's grab you, put in a bottle, grab some for healing, and now if we go through this little cave over here, this is where the piece of heart is that we couldn't reach before. Had to wait until we got to the dark wood before we could get this. Okay, now I think I'm gonna go do something else real quick, because I feel like I can actually do something on Death Mountain again. Although I'm not entirely sure which is dangerous, to be trying to do something without actually knowing. Please let me through. It's probably fine. I'm surprised that that didn't hurt me just then. Just need to stay alive. Man, I'm so glad that they give you the Pegasus boots so early. It's such a useful thing to have. And it would be such a shame if they didn't give it to you straight away. Uh, now, we need to go into the Dark World. And not fall off the edge of the cliff, please. Because I think that in the Dark World, there's actually a ledge that we can jump down to. Which I think this is the one down here that we want. Probably. Yes, it is. So there's these things that we need the hammer for to get rid of. And also this spike floor. Whenever we walk on it, it will take will take damage over time. Mostly because we have invincibility frames. Uh, but if we use the cape, we can actually just walk on it. And we need to get through quickly because we don't have enough magic to actually 
last forever. Unfortunately, even with half magic usage. Oh, I've made a horrible mistake. We can't do this yet. Well, this is a shame. A real shame. A big shame. Um, We can't do this yet. What do I do? Ah. Uh, well, I guess we just keep this in mind. I might just have to spend a few fairies getting out of here. Oh, we can do this. What? Am I just crazy? I think I'm just crazy. I w I'm actually surprised we could pick that up. I, bet I don't think we're supposed to be able to pick that up, but I don't think the game knows that, possibly. I don't know what I just did, but it's fine. It's so fine. There's a couple of hearts here that we can grab as well. As what's in this treasure chest, which is... The cane of... Uh, Barana. B Barana. Barna? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> if you swing it once, a ring of light will protect you. This is basically a better cape for getting across this place. I think. But we also don't have magic right now, so I might actually have to use my... My blue potion to heal up and get some magic back. Uh, now let me see. If I use this... Yeah, this works a lot better than the cape does for getting out of here. Which is quite good for us. It still uses magic though, but a lot less magic. Just need to use it again to stop it, and there we go. I think it also works as a way to not get hit by enemies when we're just around the world, so... Now, I don't think there's any other ledges that I need to jump down to, but I can double check just to make sure. So many stairs. So much ladder. I don't know if it's ladder or stairs. It's fine. That does look like everything that's here, so let's head back to the light world. Since we have to go fix up a few things that I've messed up now. Mainly my potion, but also we can check out another side quest as well. Please. Thank you. Go to the potion shop. Blue potion. And now let's head back to the dark world just underneath Link's house in the dark world to see if we can do something there. Okay. I'm still super sure that you're supposed to be able to dash and hammer at the same time. But it doesn't seem to let me on this version of the game for some reason. Now let's go to Link's house. Because I, th I'm, I think we can do this now. Just need to be careful. Oh, I kind of want that. I'm a little bit low on rupees. I have 100 rupees, but I, everything's expensive in this game, so... No, I can't do this now. That's a shame. Ah, uh, oh well. We do need to do a bit of traveling now to... the northern part of the world. Although I guess I could just do it the easy way. Let's go to back to the light world then, since we can't do this now. And let's use the... the flute. And let's head to Kakariko. Now, there's actually a few places I think we can do this. No, maybe it's just up here. It might just be up here. We also need to go around because of, of course we do. It's all fine. Please, thank you. Oh, please, don't get stuck on the bushes. Why? It's all fine, anyway. Let's go around here, so we can get to the rock, behind the rock that we saw before. Down this way. Because down here, if we have the hammer, allows us to pick up this rock, and it's a Dark World portal. Which makes it a little bit easier to get here. Also in the Dark World, this uh, bit here is open to get across, which is nice. Oh, hello, tree. Can I talk to you, please? Ah, no, I can't talk to you. Why? Why? Ah. Enemies. It's fine. Quit bothering me and watch where you're going when you dash around. I guess that's just why that's there. Because you can dash through all of the plants to get there faster, but it doesn't like, doesn't like you, so. Uh, I might actually leave this tree for the moment. 
Also, there's something I believe I should look at very quickly. Uh, in here, this is actually still a hint system shop place thing, which is good. Also, I believe that's a f couple of fairies in there. Yes, it is. Uh, but if we go this way, and then down, down here is actually a tree that we can talk to. Please. No. Walk away, get back. Oh, okay, nothing. Uh, there's actually a shop down here that we can access by jumping down there. And go in here. And this place... In such, dangerous uh, such a dangerous world, you may need many things. Select something that you like. We can buy a bee here. But we can also buy a upgraded shield here, which we've already got. It's, it's, it's very expensive, but you can get it here if you don't want to go buy the regular shield and then go back to the fairy fountain to upgrade it. Uh, but that's there if you want it. Shouldn't need it though. As long as you don't lose your shield. Just, it's, it's, it's probably just better to do it the long way. Uh, but anyway now, let's head actually into the woods now. Since the woods itself is the next dungeon. Kind of. So, welcome to the Skull Woods. Also, I love this song. I just have to say that. It's really good. There's a lot of pits around here, and each one actually puts you into the dungeon. So, we're gonna have to work our way around outside and inside of the dungeon to figure out how to get through here. Which, I don't remember the best way to do this, so I'm gonna probably struggle a bit. Also... With this thing moving around, we can actually pull out the thing that it's connected to and it'll get stuck, which is probably good for us. We've also got these switches here that activate when we step on them, so we need to keep that in mind. Uh, let me blow this up. Just checking all my items, because that's what I do. Uh, in here, we actually need to step on one of those panels first. Like that. We can get in here. Ah, uh, but we don't- we're not supposed to be here just yet. This is usually the first hole I ever fall into. But this is not where we need to be right now. Also, that's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted either, come on. This is wasting- we're wasting health here. Just a couple of magic things. Also, these enemies. Also, I didn't mention before, just a second ago, but the switch pool actually opens up this wall, which is very strange. But this is also where the big chest is, so if we figure out where we're supposed to actually go, we can actually open that at some point. But now, I want to actually open up this chest over here for the dungeon map. We, we, we would have hit that if we just went down from where we fell in. Uh, but anyway, that's everything in there for the moment. We also need to keep track of where we enter from, because depending on where you enter from, you'll go back to a different spot if you have something happen to you. Like if you use the magic mirror, it won't take you to the easiest exit, it'll just take you back to where you started in. Here, so. Okay, flame bar, just gonna avoid that. I don't think there's anything in those skulls that is extra important, so I'm just going to leave that. Uh, but anyway, there's a couple of rooms here we can only access by falling into certain holes. But here's the compass, so now we can see where everything is, kind of. And by that I mean the boss. Uh, and now, let me actually look at that. Because the boss is on its own floor, and it's the room above it is disconnected from the area we're currently in. So this dungeon is very interesting in its design, considering it uses the forest above it as part of the area. Now, I think... There's a few... There's two ways I can actually go here. I'm gonna need to go to both of them, probably. So let's go up here. We have some Gibdos here, which are very strong and have a lot of health. Please, thank you. As I said, a lot of health. Now might actually be a good time to actually use uh, Bombos, because they can just get defeated like that. Probably. Just like that. Ooh, also that thing. There's a... Uh, 
Wallmaster? Yeah, Wallmaster. Which, if it grabs you, basically forces you back to the area you entered the dungeon. It's like a magic mirror that forces itself, so... Beware the forced magic mirror. Also, I'm gonna fall down this hole now. We also use that key straight away, which isn't the best way to use it. Probably. We will need... Oh, hello. Enemies. That's not the button I was trying to press. I'm just gonna take all, all the enemies. Bombos is very hap help very helpful, apparently. A lot more helpful than I thought it would be. We also need to make sure we keep magic on hand. Uh, this room actually connects from the room that we got the compass in from before. If we went through the door over there. Uh, but anyway now, we have another key, which allows us to get out of here. As crazy as that sounds. And this connects back to where we got the map. So we've kind of wasted two keys by doing this, but... It's just the way that this dungeon is designed. It's it's very strange, in my opinion. Uh, but anyway, now we need to find a different en entrance to the dungeon now. Also, I don't like I can't check the map from here. Uh, there's an entrance over there that we can check. Let's go do that. Let's go in. Okay, where are we? Where, where are we? Uh, this bit's disconnected from the other bit we were in before. And there's a few rooms that we can check here. So let's go up, starting off. So these Gibdos are going to be annoying, especially with that Warmaster there. So let's get rid of that. I'm probably going a little bit overboard with Bombos, but it's going to make things a lot easier for me. Uh, let me actually move this statue around a little bit. Because if we get, into a, get it into a better position, we can pull it up this way. Allowing us to put it onto the switch while we're not on it and above it. Hang on. Don't grab me! No! Why? Ah. And everything's respawned. But that's basically what we need to do so we can get through the door. At the top. Just have to avoid the wall master, which respawns even after you kill it. In a room. Just watch for the shadow. And get out of the way. I think it will take a little bit longer to fall down and re like respawn and fall down. If you can kill it. It also, because it's a sprite in this 2D game, will actually... You can actually hit it even when you're above it. Or when, you, when it's going up. You can still hit it when it's going up. Because it's still on the screen, so you can still hit it. Anyway, there's the big key. So we should probably go open up the big chest then. Also, this, these, these star things here, if they hit you, well, I guess we won't know. If those star things appear and they hit you, turns you into your Dark World form. But only for a short amount of time, which means you can't use any weapons or items. If you get hit, you get turned back to normal. It's, it's just a temporary thing to punish you for not dodging, basically. I believe, though, that if you use the magic powder, just like with an Ento Fairy, turns it into an actual fairy. Which allows you to get an extra fairy, so... Healing is good. Ah, uh, but anyway now, let's go down here and grab... This item. Which is the fire rod. This rod commands the fire... red fire. But what's your magic meter? This is very similar to the... what's it called? The ice rod, except it shoots out fire. Which can actually light up a few things, like torches. So, it's going to be very useful. It also means that we can actually get rid of the Gibdos without using Bombos, but I think Bombos is probably just going to be the easier option at this point. Ow, 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 ow. So that's everything in this part of the dungeon now. So let's go back to the other part again and keep looking at that. Okay, so we can go to the left now. There's a fair bit to look at here, but we can't go up there unless we do things differently. Now I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure... That there's a small key right there that we can grab. But we can't access that door from here, so let's go back out of here. And let's go up this way. Because up this way... Is... If we can get a little bit further, please. All the way down here is a hole. Taking us back into the dungeon. And this puts us up in the upper part of this room over here. Connecting to where we just were. 
Uh, there's also these panels on the floor that we need to activate at least once, I'm pretty sure. Which allows us to go down here out of everything. And now we can access that door. Although I think this is actually worthless. I think this is actually less than worthless. This all this is is just enemies and items. I guess that could be helpful just for healing, but also we, we really don't need it. Anyway, let's get out of here and now we can access the last part of the dungeon. We need to have the fire rod before we can continue, so that's all we really needed from that part of the dungeon. Uh, up here we have a couple of skulls that we can get rid of. We also have this thing that looks really cool. Uh, nothing? Okay, I guess they're rocks. They don't really give anything. They're just an obstacle. But anyway, if you use the fire rod on the top of this thing, it sets it all on fire, opening up the last part of the dungeon for us. It's very cool. Uh, but anyway, now we need another key, which we could have actually used the key that we just uh, got from that other room. And instead of opening that door, we could actually probably just... That's not open. Instead of opening that room that we was right next to the key, we could could have just opened up that door there, I'm pretty sure. Because the keys can be used on whatever door you want. But I'm going to do everything anyway, so... Also, there's some magic down there which we could get hit by. <laughs> Not that I really need to. I've already shown what that does, so... Uh, but anyway, here's the key here. So let's grab that. And now probably it's going to be a lot easier to just use the magic mirror to get back to the entrance. Now, there's also a flame bar along here, or something. I don't know what to call it. Uh, but anyway, let's go through here now. And now we just need to get through this room here, which is a bit of a maze of these switches on the ground, so... It's not that bad, though. And over here. Very nice. Now, let me use Bombos again to get rid of these Gibdos if I can. Just need them all on screen. I think I can also get the... what's it called with this? Possibly. The Wall Master. There we go. I think I actually missed the Wall Master, which is a shame. Uh, but now that they're all out of the way... And so is the Wall Master. We need to light up all these torches, which we can do only by using the Fire Rod, because they... They will go out pretty quickly, and we need to go... Fast, I guess. Don't touch me, don't touch me, don't touch me, don't touch me, if you- Ah, it got me. If it hits a wall, then it will just stop, so. Uh, let me use, uh, Bombos again. I know I'm using a lot of magic here, which is probably not good. Uh, but anyway. We need an exit out of this room, so let's sl slash that vine up there, which allows us through. Okay, we're doing good, doing good, doing good. We just need a small key. Also, I think I'm just gonna take out the enemies again. I mean, they've, they've been dropping magic, so this is going quite well for me by using Bombos. Okay, one of them drops the key. Okay, none of them drop magic. That's fine. But anyway, over here, we have a hole dropping us down to the boss. Now, this boss is interesting. We can see along the edges are a lot of spikes that will move around to try and hit us. Also, the floor is moving, so... We need to keep on top of that. Uh, there's a few safe places to dodge uh, the spike traps, I guess, going around the place. Uh, but for the most part, we probably just want to be safe and try to hit this thing with... Okay, that didn't work. Just using the fire rod. Oh boy. So we need magic for this fight to make this easier for ourselves. Ow. That's not good. This is why we have fairies, though. And also the blue potion, because that's going to help us have a little bit of extra magic so we can keep doing damage after we run out of magic. Oh, floor is moving. Also, spike traps everywhere. Ow, 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 ow. Please. Please. Oh, I'm out of magic power. That's fine. This is why we have blue potion. I'm not going to use it just yet, though. I'm going to try and hit you with my master sword first. Oh my goodness. Everything is moving. This is a very difficult boss fight, for this point in the game, I guess. But anyway, we got through it alright, so... Let's just pick up a heart container, and also the next Crystal Maiden. Or Maiden Crystal, I don't know.
Link, because of you, I can escape from the clutches of the evil monsters. Thank you. Do you know the prophecy of the Great Cataclysm? This is the way I heard it. If a person who has an evil heart gets the Triforce, a hero is destined to appear, and he alone must face the person who began the Great Cataclysm. If the evil one destroys the hero, nothing can save the world from his wicked reign. Only a person of the Knights Hy of Hyrule, who protected the role of royalty of Hylia, can become the hero. You are their bloodline, of their bloodline, aren't you? Then you must rescue Zelda without fail. Do you understand? Yes, I do. May the way of the hero lead you to the Triforce. And there we go, that's the next dungeon completed already. They seem to just fly by. But anyway, that is it for now, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.